Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me the invisible woman. Will do, sir. And that left me with some serious questions of my value as a woman. So there was my husband who died, and then I fell in love very much with somebody else. And he left me. This was two men, the only two men I had been with in 37 years that both thought that I was not worthy to stay for. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I still battle with. Am I worthy of love? It seems not. Another look at the invisible woman. What happened to the former supermodel when she hit the wall? Welcome to Manage for Highlights Daily. Shout out to our Patreon supporter Mr. AS for sending us this video. Patreon supporter Sue! First off, I would like to give Paulina respect for opening up. Whether you agree with it or not, this information is gold because in modern society, for women it's forever 21. Look at the last Bond movie. Daniel Craig is 54 years old and he was working with women that were 20 years younger than him. You can have an old James Bond, but you can't have an old Bond girl. And that's interesting about Paulina because her story reveals what happens after the beauty fades, after hot turns cold. And it's kind of ironic that they present this interview with a brick wall behind her. So she's going to say a lot of things and we will give our two cents on the things that she's not saying. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. We men and we. Being a model. You rent your body out as a blank canvas and then you get poked and prodded and pushed around and shoved. We are one dimensional creatures. You don't often see us in real life. You see us on flat photos. You really are an object. You are an apple in a still life. They just want you to shut up, be on the set and do your job. I guess I'm so used to pleasing and always being what you want me to be, but that's what you're supposed to be. Well, exactly. You're getting paid to model, not to have a conversation. They are using you to promote their product because it looks good on you. Man, I just love what she's doing. Say whatever you want about this lady, but she's doing us a great service because this is exactly the kind of information we spread here in the Manosphere. I've said it many, 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 many times on this channel. A lot of women just show up. That's all they do. And a big reason why is because a lot of times that's the only thing that's expected from them. And women benefit a lot from this. Look at OnlyFans. But what happens to the woman that used to get the world just for showing up when she's over the hill? I would say at around the age of 45, I started noticing that the way I was perceived was slightly different than what I had become used to. And then I would put photos of myself in bikinis, all of a sudden I started getting uh, the influx of, are you a little desperate there, grandma? <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's such a class act. The way she tells her story is hilarious. Let's continue. Uh, how about you cover up and spare us the look of your poor aging body? I was sort of getting relinquished to the invisible women category. It dawned on me that when you walk down the street, when you're a younger woman, it's like every man passes you and goes, is she fuckable? Now you can most definitely walk down the street without having anybody bounce anything off of you. Like people will literally just walk into you. And you think, hold on a second. I am actually a far more interesting person than I've ever been. And this is where you don't want to see me anymore because I've aged out of being physically appealing to you. Isn't that messed up? Isn't it messed up how superficial people are? Isn't it messed up how unfair nature is? How unfair the world is? I mean, women would never be like that. I mean, she would have no problem if I didn't have a car. Hey, car and you're walking. Oh, yes, son. She would have no problem if I would live at home with my mama. I mean, she would have no problem if I was broke. I mean, women would never see me like an ATM machine. Nope. 
Women would take me for that nice guy that I am because I'm a gentleman, you know? And I'm extra nice, you know, extra gentleman. I'm extra just like, oh, you're beautiful and you deserve the best. And she told me I was too nice. I couldn't believe it. We, we, it wouldn't work because I was too nice. You guys in the comment section are just a bunch of haters because women are not like that. Not all, not all women are like that. Oh, you oh, just you. keep, no, you just keep. Who hurt you? Men are not invisible to women. You just need to grow taller. So what would you say has been your biggest struggle? I had gone through my childhood being extremely seen, but absolutely unheard. It's been sort of the bane of my existence. She was being seen, not being heard. I'll get back to not being quote unquote heard later. However, this is why a lot of women are having problems with old age because they are not used to being invisible. This transition is really hard for them. She calls it the bane of her existence while it made her world famous and wealthy. And now that it's gone, her world flipped upside down. It's like when Superman gave up his powers and got his ass kicked by a regular dude in front of Lois Lane. Maybe we ought to hire a bodyguard from now on. <laughs> I don't want a bodyguard, I want the man I fell in love with. <laughs> I was not even born yet when this movie came out and I was feeling the pain. Women have no interest in Superman downgrading to Clark Kent. And that's the next point. I was going through this sort of transformative things of menopause, of these shifting hormones, that door is shutting on me. And then the door of my marriage and my husband completely shut. Menopause, this is really important. Dennis. Menopause. The menopause is when a woman stops having periods and is no longer able to get pregnant naturally. Periods usually start to become less frequent over a few months or years before they stop altogether. Sometimes they can stop suddenly. The menopause is a natural part of aging that usually occurs between 45 and 55 years of age, as a woman's estrogen levels decline. She's saying a lot of things in this interview, but there are also a lot of things that she's not saying in this interview. Menopause has some serious symptoms. Janice. Symptoms of the menopause. Most women will experience menopausal symptoms. Some of these can be quite severe and have a significant impact on your everyday activities. Common symptoms include hot flushes, night sweats, vaginal dryness and discomfort during sex, difficulty sleeping, low mood or anxiety, reduced sex drive, libido, problems with memory and concentration. Menopausal symptoms can begin months or even years before your periods stop and last around four years after your last period, although some women experience them for much longer. We'll get back to menopause because she talks a little bit about her husband that passed away. To me, my menopause is tied into the grief over my husband. And I can't separate what made me feel happy. I loved my husband for 35 years, the last three of which we were separated. We were there for each other uh, in those kind of physical ways that we had become uh, habituated to. It's just no longer was a marriage. We had been together for my entire life since I was 19. And suddenly he seemed not to find me attractive anymore. This is why Paulina is in a different category. She still had the traditional values. She was 19 when she got her husband. She has two children with him. She never officially divorced her husband, even though that was in the works. She's not known as a hot dog carousel writer. And in all of her interviews, she seems like a cool person. So this change of appearance combined with the menopause are the causes of her marital problems. Let's continue. I started feeling like I was a coffee table, something you put shit on and bump into in the middle of the night, but pay no more attention to than that. It made me feel worthless as a woman. I thought I was going to stay with his men for the rest of my life. We had said in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. But then it was neither, it was nor better nor worse. He just stopped seeing me. He, he never actually heard me. Here it comes guys, stay focused. She said he actually never heard her. Let's get into it. What do you mean by he never heard you? Well, I, for that I would have to go back to the beginning of my marriage in which my husband always saw me. And it made me feel so loved 
because my parents never saw me. And so I finally found somebody who could see me, did see me and wanted me. And that solved my problems for like ever. And then you start going up. And I realized that I wanted my partner, my husband to listen to me so that he could see that I'm no longer just the hot model that he had married, but there was you know, other things about me that I thought were valuable. So in the beginning, it was about being seen. And when she grew up, it became about being heard. I'm giving my opinion here because it sounds like you were heard. It's just that your story changed with your appearance. Like she said in the beginning, she became invisible. There was no need to be quote unquote heard because all eyes and ears were on you. In other words, you got more than your fair share of attention. You don't miss your water until your well runs dry. Let's take it a step further. Like what? Uh, pretty much everything else but my looks, honestly. I had thought I was boring for 30 years because my husband made me feel boring because whenever I would speak, he would just yawn and look around and completely dismiss me. I told you many, 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 many times on this channel that most women are boring. It's amazing how a pretty woman can get your full attention. I'm speaking from experience because I love hot women. And when I was dating, I always went after the hot ones. And when that love potion wore off, I could actually hear them. It was not that the conversation changed. It was more the dynamic that changed because I did not put in the same effort. They wanted attention, but they never had to do anything for it. I was the one that would plan things. I was the one that kept the conversation going because it was all about them. They were in control of the relationship because I was looking for their validation. It was interesting to see how they could not spark my interest beyond having sex with them because a lot of them were not even interested in the things that I was doing. They only wanted to talk about themselves and wanted special attention so they could brag to their friends. So my prize was having a pretty girlfriend. And I'm telling you fellas, having a girlfriend that's just pretty is not all that. Your PlayStation will do a much better job keeping you interested. So what Paulina doesn't tell us is how she approached the situation when it came to talking to her husband. But she will tell on herself really soon. Let's take it a step further. I sort of went with that for a while till I could no longer take it. I started changing the rules on what our marriage was supposed to be. And then he started changing his rules too. Oh, well, if you're gonna be demanding and a bitch, well, then I'm not gonna touch you. I don't know what she means with, he was gonna touch her. I hope it's not violence or anything like that. But once again, she is not giving us details. She's changing the rules after being married for 30 plus years. Her husband's reaction wasn't positive. And in my opinion, this was just another cry for attention because women have the tendency not to communicate in a direct manner. They use smoke signals, they speak in tongues, and they expect you to just read their minds. And if you don't, they want to get upset. And remember, this is during menopause. She mentions her husband calling her the B word and she's gonna mention it again at the end of the video. And I thought, one brilliant last idea. What if I give him the ultimatum before I'm finished? When I still love him, when I still want to make this work, that might snap him out of it. I said, you know, I'm really unhappy and you don't seem to want to work on anything. And so I think maybe we should be heading towards separation maybe divorce. He just looked at me really coldly and said, uh, well, seems like your mind's made up, so whatever. This is gold. She said, one brilliant last idea. You're telling me this is brilliant? <laughs> this is not brilliance. This is foolishness. She said, that might snap him out of it. This brilliant idea was gonna snap him out of it. <laughs> this is gold. This is why we call women agents of chaos. Do you really think applying something negative is gonna have a positive result? You call it brilliant, like you've tested it before. If you apply this tactic, men will snap out of it. <laughs> she clearly doesn't understand the problem. She learned the day after her husband died that she had been left out of his will. Holy shit. You're dealing with a man in his 70s and you're playing games? 
He passed a couple years later. He said, it seems like you already made up your mind. And he's right. This was not about him. This was about you. When you say sickness and health, for better and for worse, it's not just about you. And once again, this is my opinion. I don't know exactly what happened. But what I do know is that there are three sides to every story. And that was it. I really, really couldn't believe it. That that was it. That that was all the fight he was going to put up for me. How did you respond? Like this. Started bawling. Ran off. It didn't feel like there was anything else I could do. This is where we end the video. She's gonna take her clothes off and you can find the link to the full video in the description. Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.